Hello guys, welcome back to Creative Teens with the Melons and today I have came here our PowerPoint presentation Amazer Tour. Uh, so what are you going to show us today, Kim? Um, so today I'm going to show you how um, PowerPoint has an answer to the Pathfinder tool, something uh -huh. called Merge Shapes. Merging shapes in PowerPoint. If you don't know how to do it, check this one out. It's really good. Hey guys, so I'm here in PowerPoint. Um, to get to the Merge Shapes tool, what I'm going to do is click on any two or more shapes head into shape format and then we'll see here merge shapes and there's a range of different things this tool can do so the first example i'm going to show you is let's say we want to make a venn diagram so you might have two circles you want them to cross over and we want to be able to illustrate this space in between so we can actually use the merge shapes tool for this so i'm going to make sure both of our circles are selected go up to merge shapes and for this one i'm going to say fragment so it will actually separate all the individual shapes that were created from that overlapping. So now we can go into our format pane, or you can go up here and color in your shape. So that's one way. Um, another instance might be say you want to create a new shape from these ones. So I want to create a little cookie with a little bite out of it. So I'm going to get this smaller circle and overlap it here. We're going to select both our shapes. Now, PowerPoint does pay attention to the order that you click your circles in. So I'm going to click the smaller one and the larger one. I'm holding, holding shift when I do that. So click the first one, hold shift, click the second one. I'm going to go to merge shapes and press subtract. Now we can see that's actually the wrong way around. So what we want to do then is click them in the other order. So click the big one, hold shift with the smaller one. Merge shapes and again press subtract and there we go. We've got a little cookie cutter. Now one more thing that we can do with this tool is called unite. So let's say we had a whole bunch of circles. We want to turn them into a little cloud. Let's put a little corner on this guy. Okay, I'm going to select all of them so I can just click and drag to select all of them. For this one, it doesn't matter the order that you click your shapes in. Head to Merge Shapes and we want Union. And then we have our little cloud. There's heaps more you can do, but that's just some of it. Chicka bam bam, blue melon. <laughs>